Welcome to the Python lecture everyone. In this lecture we are going to understand a comparison operator. In the previous one we were able to understand arithmetic operator. So here let's try to understand what is the meaning of comparison operator. Again as its name suggests comparison. So we are going to use all of these operator for a comparison purposes. Let's try to understand. Let's get started with this one. So again I'll try to create two variable a is equals to let's suppose um, maybe I can give is equal to 13 and then b is equals to 10. Simple. Just remember this part. a is equal to 13 and b is equals to 10. I have already taken these two data set. Now here, if I have to do a comparison, whether a is equal equal to b or not, or something is equal equal to something or not, maybe it could be a string, maybe it could be a list or anything, right? Any kind of object you can try to consider. So let's suppose if I have to do a comparison. So how I will be able to do a comparison? So a equal equal to means double equal to b. This is something called as equal equal to or comparison operator. And it is always going to give you all the comparison operators are always going to give you a boolean result. Either it is going to give you a true or it is going to give you a false. No other values you will be able to get out of this comparison operator. Comparison means it is just comparing and giving you whether it's true, whether it's a false. Very simple. So here equal to is one of the comparison operator. It is trying to do a comparison that whether a 13 is equal equal to 10 or not. Obviously 13 is not equal equal to 10. So it is going to give you false. Let's suppose I'm going to perform these things with a string. So whether SUDH is equal equal to KUMAR or not execute. It is giving me what? It is giving me false. Now let's suppose if I'm going to do a comparison SUDH is equal equal to SUDH or not. Let's see what is the result. It's going to be true. Yes. So this is something called as a comparison operator equal to comparison operator. Yes, equal to comparison operator. So where it try to check a left hand side and right hand side together and then it is going to give you a final result. Now next one, which I am going to like uh, discuss. A is not equal to not. So explanation not equal to B. True. A is not equal to B. A is 13. B is 10. Right. So 13 is not equal to B. If I am making this statement 13 is not equal to B. Obviously, that statement is true and that's the reason we are getting these things as a true. 13 not equal to 10. Very simple. Yes. Okay. So, this is not equal to operator. So, previous one was equal equal to operator. This one is a not equal to operator for me. Now, let's try to understand the third one. The third operator which is a part of comparison operator. So, sometime we have to do a comparison A is greater than B or not. A is 13. B is 10. So greater than. So this is a greater than symbol. Triangle. Right? A open triangle on your left hand side. So here execute. A is greater than B. True or false? 13 is greater than 10. True or false? True. So I am able to get this one. Simple. Now let's suppose if I am going to use this operator with respect to a string. SUDH is greater than KUMAR or not. Execute. True. Simple. So even I can I can try to use this one, this operator with respect to a string and it is giving me a true based on the alphabetical comparison. So here, let's suppose if I'm going to write ABC or XYG is greater than SUDH or not. It's true. Now, let me try to like uh, make it vice versa. SUDH is greater than XYG. Execute. False. Why I am showing you this many number of examples? So that you will be able to understand how it is giving me a comparison in this string. So as you can see, it is trying to pick the very first character. And based on the sequence of the character, it is giving me true and false. Right? So here, X, obviously X comes in a last and then S comes before. Right? So it's true. Now here, S comes before in an alphabetical order and X comes in a last. So X is coming before and I'm saying that it's greater than, so it's false. Yes. <clears throat> so hope you all are able to understand this example even with respect to a, a string. Now, <clears throat> there is something called as lesser than. So greater than and just opposite of this is basically called as lesser than. So here A is lesser than B. A is equals to 13. B is equals to 10. Now here 13 is lesser than 10. It's false. Right? 13 is not lesser than 10. So here it's false. So this is basically a lesser than operator. This is called as 
what are lesser than then there is something called as a is greater than equal to greater than equal to b so here it will always try to check either it should be greater than or either it should be equal to so a is greater than this condition is true so it is giving me true now i'll show you with this number so 10 is greater than or equal to 10 10 is not greater than let's suppose if i have written just 10 greater than 10 it will give me what false but let's suppose if i have written 10 is greater than equal to 10 it will give me what true why because here it is checking these two condition and either of these two condition either either it should be greater than or equal to yes so if any of this condition is going to be true my final result is going to be true now here it is just trying to check a greater than condition so here it checks both the condition and if either of one condition is going to be true it is going to be it is going to give you true very simple so this is basically greater than now reverse of this one is called as lesser than so 10 is lesser than equal to 10 true yes because lesser than it's going to be false but equal to it's going to be true so finally it is going to be true like i said either of this condition if i am going to write just like this one 10 is lesser than 10 it is going to give me false 10 is not lesser than 10 10 is equal to 10 but here in this situation it is checking both the condition and if either of this condition is going to be true it is going to give you true so all of these operator guys which i have discussed in this one which is a equal equal to operator or maybe not equal to operator greater than e operator lesser than operator greater than equal to operator lesser than equal to operator all of these operators comes under a comparison operator so whenever you have to do a comparison you are going to utilize all of these operators one by one one by one and then you are going to write a logic so hope all of you are able to understand this one keep practicing keep trying with that thank you so much